Hey, what's going on guys? DJ has here, collectivekicks.com. I wanted to bring you guys a double unboxing video from Nike ID. Really excited to show you guys both of the designs that I ended up making. Uh, one of them is a LeBron 13. The other one is a Nike Air Presto. And uh, let's go ahead and show you guys uh, the boxes first. So um, I already did get a look at these. Uh, I ended up picking these up from a buddy of mine uh, that actually ended up uh, getting them for me. Uh, but, uh, but anyway, so these, there's... The LeBron 13 and then the Prestos. I'll show you guys the Prestos first. Um, I really, really like the way that these came out. This is themed after the Honolulu, uh, like, Soul Collector uh, edition sort of Prestos that were released back in the day. Really rare uh, pair of Prestos. Really hard to find, especially in good condition. Impossible to find, even. Uh, but I really like the overall theme of those. And I took that same sort of concept uh, to these. And uh, I'll put a, a picture maybe on the screen so you can see. Actually, you know what? I'll say that for a review. I'll do a review and on feet of these and show you guys the actual ones uh, that uh, these ones were supposed to be themed after. But they look pretty good. They came out pretty well, in my opinion. You see the green speckle on the midsole. Uh, the dots on here came out better than on any of the pairs of the Prestos that I bought at retail. Uh, the red swoosh on the side. And then you have that crazy fade from red to like that... Uh, yellow colorway with the green swoosh on the the toe box uh, black little mud guard and then black sole uh, and then a black pod back here as well um, and then uh, the black pull tab with a reflective it looks like down this down the center didn't put anything on the back or anything like that sometimes it says air on the back but um, yeah there's the Presto logo right there and the white laces on these ones uh, I did a I think I did a pretty good job on those ones and I just really liked them I wanted the Honolulu ones for the longest time and I loved the kind of the palm trees on that print So um, that's what I ended up with there and then the the big one that um, A lot of people are probably curious and a lot of people are probably assuming that this is gonna be an Oregon State colorway because uh, Traditionally, I do uh, an Oregon State colorway in the LeBron uh, model, but this time I decided to take a turn and do something totally different something that I've been wanting to do for a while and actually have not done just because uh, it's just a bold such a bold thing to be able to do and I ended up creating these and this at first glance you guys are probably like, what in the hell is this but uh, if you take a look up here uh, you can see and this is uh, Thanos as you can see right here Thanos is um, the inspiration for these down here so this I, I really think they came out at first I was like yeah they look alright but then next to the figure you get really a better idea of, of really um, how they look and they look pretty spot on to uh, the, to the shoes so I did what I wanted to do uh, when I designed these which was get that kind of the Thanos look to it and I had the blue uh, on the upper accents of gold that's the only downside that I was kind of pissed about is the gold accents are really kind of like plain looking it's not really gold I mean, especially when you have this foil, the gold foil next to it. But the way that the action figure looks, it's the same sort of gold. So actually, surprisingly, this is okay. Um, and then the uh, the blue midsole and then um, the gold paint speckles on the midsole. They came out pretty good as well. And then I did the gold plate on the bottom. And then this is the part that I love about the shoes is the bottom is kind of... The, I did the purple soles and then they kind of look like the Infinity Stones. It's not all the colors there, but still, conceptually... It's something that I did um, uh, a LeBron 11 mock-up with uh, an, an Infinity Gauntlet theme shoe. So I took that and I just decided I would go with the Thanos theme. And the coloring that came out, the way that the colors laid out on, on this model, it made it just work out. So I thought um, this is what I ended up with. So be honest, leave, leave a comment. I mean, this isn't going to be one that people are going to really like. or I mean, it's going to be one that people think is creative or they just think it's stupid. Um but I, this is one for me. I was like, this is this is dope. This this turned out the way that I wanted it to. Um, I I would have probably changed the midsole black just because on the sample like pair that I or the not the sample but my first mock up online I did a black midsole and it made it look kind of like the cosmos like sort of out of space and I actually like that look a little bit better because it makes it a little bit more um, I don't know just a little bit different. This one has the purple collar and then the purple sole and then the purple flywire that and. The lettering so really minimal purple um, and if you look at the action figure I mean really the only thing that's purple on him is his his face so it was more of an accent sort of thing blue is the main uh, costume color and then the, obviously with the accents of gold and that's what I ended up sticking with so 
Um, love it or hate it, this is what I ended up doing. I'll have a full review with an on-feet look of these. Um, also, just a little Easter egg that I put on the shoe. Uh, on the, uh, the inside, it says Mad. And then uh, on this one, it says Titan. So, I mean, if you didn't know, that's kind of like what Thanos is known as, um, the Mad Titan. And then you can see it says T-I-T-N uh, for Titan on the back. Uh, but uh, I do have some uh, some patches from Herb Juice that he's making me for the back here. So I'll have a patch for the back and then also for across this part right here. So uh, you can expect uh, to see a patch soon uh, for the LeBrons. But uh, be brutally honest. Leave some comments. Let me know what you guys think. I was excited to show you guys these ones. I'm a fan of Marvel and obviously the Infinity uh, Gauntlet storyline. I have all the comments, comics from the Infinity Gauntlet and um or the in infinity war stuff um i have both of them actually but uh with the movies coming out i thought it was kind of an appropriate one that could be kind of fun and then to prepare for that i bought the the uh, action figure just for fun and actually just came today as well so uh good timing but hopefully you guys liked the video if you did give it a thumbs up and we'll catch you guys for some more videos soon i have a bunch of other unboxings coming this week i had one earlier today as well so uh stay tuned for some more unboxing videos and then full reviews peace guys